cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Coming up in the future with Ho Chanda, The Mill Shop Online is going to bring lots more collections of beautiful fabrics, all inspired for your crafters, for your upholsterers, soft furnishings, everything for every project. All our designs for Hochanda, all our crafting elements, always very unique and very exclusive for Hochanda. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Cheeky duo in the gallery. I can't tell you what they're saying to me. Right, this is the second hour with Stance Away, and of course, someone that will be sensible and uh, keep everything under control, and that is, of course, Ali. Good afternoon, Ali. Good afternoon. We You're a... expecting a lot of me. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm hearing. Um, we had a very busy show this morning. We did, yes. We certainly <laughs> did, and more again this afternoon. If you did miss out this morning, it was what time was it? it was. Uh, Nine o'clock. Yeah, nine that seems wasn't a long it? time ago. Nine o'clock this morning. Do catch on rewind, but uh, we've got some stock updates as well, I believe, because things were very, very, very busy. Let's have a look what we do have, though. Of course, Ali is ready and waiting to start with the demonstrations as soon as possible. But let's run through the items we've got. First of all, new today, we've got our MDF wreaths and embellishments. Now, over 60% of the stock went in the earlier hour. So, when it comes to wreaths, Ali, we'll just do what we did this morning because. It's not just for Christmas, is it? No, you, I mean, we were saying earlier, sunflowers, you know, you can fill them with acorns and conkers and things like that at this time of the year, beautiful leaves because yeah. of all the colours, and then you can make them spring-like, you can put Easter eggs in them, anything, but obviously they are traditionally associated with Christmas. But you've got six there, so do two Christmas, two spring ones, two autumn ones, you know, whatever you fancy, get your old bits of fabric out, make it simple, make it modern, make it traditional, whatever you want, it's put photos on it, anything. You can stick Love anything it. on a wreath. This is a bumper bundle, I think. This twelve ninety nine is going to get you six wreaths. Now, two of the larger ones, two of the medium, and two of the smaller. And if I tell you that the larger one is just over a foot in diameter as well, so really big in size there. But the embellishments are also included as well. And we have got little trees. We've got the larger trees you can see in the picture there. Look at these, aren't these cute? You've got flowers in here as well. Diff oh, I'm catching up with my arm. Don't pull it over. There we've got uh, the little flowers as well. One of my favourite bits in here, I just love these little doves. They're really sweet because they just look really nice oh. and sort of traditional. If you're going with uh, white or cream and gold uh, wreaths, they look lovely. But as we said earlier, they're really nice for weddings and things like yeah. that. Because, Or even new home, you know, that sort of starting out together thing. So Definitely. And the bells are in there as well, so that would come in for wedding as well of, of course, christenings and uh, Christmas also. There's the larger Christmas tree. All of that for just £12.99. pence. I've got a few samples here as well. We've already seen one or two, actually, because we've got them dotted around the studio. If you are thinking seasonal, what about that Santa's belt there with the red ball we were saying earlier, weren't we, Ali, that, you know, I think almost everybody must have boxes oh, of decorations. Yeah. That we, can, we change our themes, we, don't we? We do. And also, the other thing is, come January, when they're just really cheap in the sales, oh, I'll, I'll just get them. I'll, I'll use them for something. And you just accumulate them. Yeah, but the other yeah, thing I've done, true. if you haven't got that, is get some cheap light bulbs. And I actually dipped light bulbs in glue and then into glitter and have glued those around that's as well. They were really effective. Just start saving your light bulbs when they run out. That's what yeah. I would do. 
Now, I've got a few more to show you as well. So another one for Christmas. We've got another beautiful tinselly one at the back of the studio as well with some brown tinsel. So just a piece of tinsel would do. A whole yeah, that's just one length, one length of tinsel. And I've just literally added in some spare leftover red baubles. And you could actually string your lights in there as well, wrap your lights the, around. This one did have lights in, but did the it? batteries have gone a little oh. bit. Um, yeah, take your batteries out before you pack them away for the year. There we are. There's the brown one. This is the one where the lights have gone. Oh, that's unfortunate, but still looks amazing, doesn't it? Love that blue with the brown, actually. Very nice indeed. And then, what about this? If you want to upcycle, what about those jars? We upcycle our jars, but we don't always use the lids. No, you do don't we? always. No, because especially if you put fabric really on the top. That's a idea. Um, yeah, any old jars, and then I just you draw around them onto you know the patterned paper. That's right, a traditional patterned paper. Pop them in the middle and away you go. You I didn't even need to paint. pets in there as well. Yeah. That would be a nice idea. And then this one, Ali, this was from the earlier show. Do watch out for our crystallina fibres and also the film as well. So that's just one way that Ali showed us how you could work with it. A fusible fibre, that's what it is. Amazing, amazing colours and results as well. So that whole wreath there, oh, I think we did look at this one, didn't we? Because that, that reminds me of nurseries as well, if you want to put little characters around there. Obviously, this one's got snowflakes on there, but using your ribbons, using your different fabrics, you can also wrap around the wreath as well. 199, 780, and two thirds of the stock has now gone. A bumper bundle, but we've got much more for you as well. Now, we've got the first of our dioramas. This is our village diorama. In fact, the name of it is Gingerbread Village, but it doesn't have to be gingerbread. It could be whatever you want it to be. Again, we were saying this morning, Ali, that, you know, this could be themed for any time of the year. You've got the trees in there, but, you know, you don't have to put snow on the roofs. You could put, you know, slates on the roof if you wanted to. You could make your gingerbread houses. You could make them into pretty cottages with flowers growing around the doors. Yeah, you and do whatever you wish. just thinking, you said about not having to put snow on the roof. If you cut up strips of paper or get some raffia, you could make them look like little thatch cottages. Oh, yes, you could. And then you could go you? quite traditional English country garden at the front, so lots of little flowers and things oh. like that. So it'd be sort of more summery, but yeah. Oh. That one I've used crocodile to cut the holes so that you can put the lights in. Just, I think, when it's Christmas, you've got to have a bit of sparkle. You have, haven't you? I shall conserve those batteries just by switching those off for a while. Uh, now, everything here, Ali, is cut to perfection, of course. And you said it earlier on, and I'm going to repeat it now because I love this idea, the fact that you can put this together without having to glue it totally. You yeah. want to pack it away again. Yes, yeah. so if you are doing anything like snow effects, I've on that one, I've just done it along the very front so that actually... Um, if I wanted to, that one's got light, so it's a bit harder, but you can actually then dismantle it and then it packs away flat because if you are using it as a Christmas decoration, there's nothing more annoying than it takes up too much space yeah. or that's when it gets damaged when you put it in the loft and then something gets dropped on it. So just literally pop all the bits out, lay it flat. Even the base comes into two, so it, it really doesn't take up very much space at all. Love it. And this is a sizable piece. Do we know the actual length of this i don't know it's if we do like 45. we'll see if we can find out but it is a big size 50 centimeters is the length there of this when it's all put together so a really really good size this would make a statement in your room wouldn't it at christmas yeah i was thinking windowsill or mantelpiece yeah definitely definitely 9.99 that's all it is as well one two one one seven eight you'll have some fun with that now if you are going for that one you might want to go for the next one as well Obviously, because they do work beautifully together, I was saying earlier you could have the village next to the forest, so you could put the forest behind the village. You can go for this individually, but it's the same sort of idea. This is your winter deer diorama. You've got the stag and the deer there, that lovely little bit of fencing in the centre, which really draws the eye into those animals in the centre there as well. I love how this is put together. And then, of course, all of those different trees. Everything again comes flat pack for you, so if you want to pack this away again, take Ali's advice there. Paint all the items, just be careful when you're painting over notches and those slots and things that you don't, you know, get paint in the way, but then you can take this apart. But many ways of decorating, Ali, it doesn't have to be paint, does it? No, I've done this one with uh, cutting out paper and putting it on. You could paint it and then stamp onto it. You rice papers, rice papers are nice because obviously easier to go around the more yeah. intricate shapes. Because if you are cutting around, the last one I did where I did it, in paper I actually just painted the deer <laughs> because they're a little bit more tricky going around the antlers um, but yeah anything that you've got so you can really go to town and get your texture pastes on there and things like that I've kept this very very simple just because it, it's so nice as it is 
I love that effect, actually. But just, just also black with, you know, maybe put a, a canvas behind with a nice ombre sunset and then have it oh, that would just look nice. black with the sunset behind. Oh, that would look nice. Yeah, put a scene behind there of a night sky or you could have Santa, you know, flying over in a display or anything. £9.99 pence for this one as well. Great prices, aren't they? 330907 now moving on i've got to tell you we, we knew we were very busy on this one earlier we did actually sell out this morning just as we came off air i think all the rest of the stock went ali has agreed to let us have some more extended delivery so from the 2nd of november but this proved so popular this morning and ali this isn't a new item mm -hmm. as such as it you've done these before they just sell and they sell and they they're sell they're so popular because again they're a sizable piece but if you don't glue them again they can they can fold down and they don't take up much space but they're just really nice again it doesn't have to be for christmas but there is just something about a reindeer that that just evokes that childlike is, thing of well, do you know, we've got lots of samples again around the studio and lots of different ways of working with this. But you did show in the earlier show just how easy these are to put together. Yes. Different techniques as well. I think we might be seeing one a little bit later that you started earlier on. But looking around the samples in the studio, you can see there with paints, with stenciling, you know, just in its raw state. I love this one because it, in its natural state, just a little bit of texture paste there with the white holly and then some of the natural flowers on there as well. Just beautiful. If I just turn this around again, just so you can see from the front, those antlers are so useful because I thought, hang your candy canes on there, you know, you can put a saddle on the back of the reindeer, put some sweets in there. We've got a stone effect one as well in the studio, which Ali used her stone effect paint for, which again, I think looks really smart. Did you say this was a, a paint that could go outdoors as well, Ali? Yeah, that's, a, that's an outdoor one. As lo so as long as you've completely covered it, including the bottom of his feet... Yeah. Um, th it's fine to go outside with the correct paint. So that's an outdoor paint, Lovely. so he's fine. It's MDF treated. is porous, so you must make sure it's sealed. Wonderful. Now, we've got we've got loads of them, actually, around the studio. There's a lot more down here, Sally's... Uh, Sally? <laughs> Where did we get that from? Ali's demonstration <laughs> area. <laughs> oh, I like this one as well, with the paint techniques there. Just Again, it looks kind of distressed. Yeah, so we'll do that as a, as a demo in a minute, actually. Not on the oh, reindeer, like but... The, the nice thing is you can make everything coordinate if you want to. Beautiful. You could change the decor every year as well if you wanted. If you painted them, you could just change the colours. 11 is going to get you the large one and the two smaller ones as well. So three whole deer there for that price. £3 saving, 778-387. Nothing to stop you going for more than one kit if you do want more as well while we've got the stocks. But remember, we did sell out earlier. Extended delivery. I think that's going to be a popular item again. Right, moving down, the Christmas tree. Now, you get a lot for your money here as well because there's so many components to this. So if I show you this one, first of all, I'm going to turn it around because there's supports and components at the back here that you need to see as well. So you've got the different, different pieces, one, two, three, four, you've got six, six individual pieces that when you put them all together with the supports, you can see there, create a beautiful large Christmas tree. There's a star on the top as well, but Ali's been really clever with this because if you split this down, using the components in different ways, you can actually create two trees from, from that. Yeah, I just you, took, You've got two totally separate trees here. I took them um, alternate pieces so that you've still got the, the recognisable shape, but it's just it's spread it out a bit and then you can have completely different styles or if you've got you know if you want them either side of the fireplace you know by the front gate again as long as you, as long as you treat them with the correct i quite like it being held with the with the handle <laughs> <laughs> like a tour guide <laughs> just, look, just look like i've got an enormous lollipop doesn't it it really does <laughs> It did look rather strange, that, didn't it? 351507 is the item number. I really like the fact that you've separated those and you've got the little gap in between. Yeah, again, it adds to the effect. when we've done palette art, We've done palette art in various forms for years, but the whole idea about it is giving you options. Yeah. So you can have it random, you can have it offset, you could have them wonky if you wanted. You know, however you want to put them together, you can. And, and that's what's nice about it. So that, so the first thing I did was, yes, I did the one for the counter correctly, but then after that I didn't do it how we planned at all. Everyone's different. But that just shows the versatility of... To, I can't let my words at this hour. What's wrong? Versatility, of course. 351507, just £9.99. And then I absolutely love this stencil kit. Now, this has been busy as well. 60% of the stock has gone. 
anything that's got a sort of a Christmas feel to it, I adore anyway. But you've got elements in here, Ali, that don't have to be for Christmas. You've got those beautiful designs, kind of the Nordic pattern from a jumper, perhaps. You'll look at it in one way. Argyle, is that the right name, Argyle? Yeah. That sort of pattern, it is, isn't it? But there you can see you've got the icicles, or it could be, as you said earlier, the wax. Wax dribbling down, down a candle. I so love the one with the snowflakes as well. I think it's so elegant. And again, using many different techniques with your, your stencils here as well. And all four of them for just £9.96. You're saving £4.318415. Now, we've got some other items to tell you about as well. Other things that have been popular, the wood stained crystals. They're back again today. Ali loves these, and so do you, because you've been buying these as well. Now, these are fantastic. $12.99 is the price for the full set. You're getting pine, cherry, and chestnut as the colors there. Lots of different ways of working with these as well. Um, we've also got the fibers that I mentioned earlier. These are great fun to work with. You can really experiment with these. You get a set of four. Let's bring those up and the different colours are there for you. Angel Green, Ultraviolet, Sugar Plum and Pink Sorbet are the colours. Just £9.96 again, £4 saving on those, 171391. And then we've got the Fusible Film and this is really good stuff as well. Really enjoyed watching Ali work with this earlier. There you've got uh, Purple Flash, Mint Sparkle, Key Lime and Crystal Sun. Again a £4 saving, just £9.96, 635631. There's loads more on the website as well, and of course, don't forget things like Ali's glues. They're always a really good buy, really good quality glues as well. I think there's embossing powders and all sorts, so do look on the website. But Ali, I think you told, oh, I can see it now, I've spotted it. <laughs> idea that we started earlier yes so between the shows i carried Aww. on covering him with the texture paste and then i've stained him with quite a deep of the chestnut and i went over the texture paste if you remember in the show i actually um did it on top of the uh, ink stain so it had a little sort of more subtleness yeah. to it but this time i've decided to go over the whole thing so it almost looks like he's molded Oh, it looks really good. Those ink crystals are really good, aren't they? But you can see it just gives different tones where it soaks in and, and that's what gives it that realistic wood look. And again, it's taken to the edges really nicely. So there he is, Lovely. all finished. I do think he needs a bit of twine and possibly a pine cone and a gold bauble yes, or a bell that on him. Really, really nice yeah. indeed. Oh, so it's just in your garden as well. We talked about twigs. And yeah, definitely, earlier, definitely. Um, you, you know, or if you wanted to do a splash of colour, put some holly on there. Oh, that would look nice. Yeah, the green holly. Yeah. The other thing I do is, um, you know, when you when you have the nice expensive Christmas crackers and they have the nice little embellishments on them, they fit round their necks really nicely. So you can obviously glam him up if required. Wonderful. So what are we going to see in demonstration? Right. So I've got the palette art Christmas tree. So you'll see that you've got all these planks. So you could do a little short Christmas tree, which is quite nice. Or you can carry on all the way. The counter's not big enough. And that's the full <laughs> size. But what I'm going to do, so I've stacked them in size. And I'm going to take every other one so then that leaves me three that can still make a tree yeah. and this gives me three that also make a tree and I'm going to do a spaced out tree like that I think looks quite nice yeah, like and that. these are your joining bits when you've got them close together you can have them any which way but when you're doing one like this I tend to later on I will glue that to there which will create the trunk and then I take one of the little star ones and that becomes your lollipop stick. Okay? Oh, yes, the lollipop stick that I was holding. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint them before gluing. Because there's no slots or tabs or anything like that, it means that you can paint, which means you can get into all the edges easily. And then when it's dry, I'll turn it over and glue it all together. Okay. So all I've got is three colours of paint. Oh, I like that blue you've got there. So we've got, my pink was a bit bright, so I've just mixed some white gesso in with it just to tone it down a little bit. It was a bit too bright. I want a sort of fairly subtle pale pink. Okay. Oh, you've got some lovely colours there. I just raided, you know, the old pots of paint because you don't need a massive amount to do this. And it doesn't even have to be ones you would normally consider go together. Just grab some colours that you fancy. Okay, so that's one. 
going to go with that. It's almost like a cornflower blue. It's really... It's very pretty. Okay. That's good coverage as well. And each of these pieces, Ellie, have got the holes already drilled in them as well. Yes. So you could use, you could string them together. You could string them together, you could or them separately. or you can you can dangle things through there, or it just gives it that whole. It is inspired by the fact that our neighbouring company used to be a pallet yard. They moved a few years ago, um, and they used to recycle the pallets up into Christmas trees at this time oh. of year. And every year, I've gone, well, will you do me a pallet at Christmas tree? Will you do me and finally gave in only takes about five years for me going <laughs> please can I have please can I have okay so and then we're going to end I'm going to be naughty and use the same sponge right so at the moment it all looks very nice it's very pretty but it's very neatly well yeah, not I know what you mean. it's a bit too a bit too perfect I need to scruff it up because the whole point of this is it's um you know, it's reclaimed. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. So it needs it needs to be messed up a little bit. So I need my brown paint, okay. right, which is there. I'm going to quickly put the lids on because that's just an accident waiting to happen, isn't it? Right. So it's a paint you're going to use. It's not the crystals. This time. No, I'm. You can use the crystals to stain the edges, but I need this to be quite thick. Okay. So I'm going with a paint um, and a clean sponge. Right, I'm going to dip it into the brown paint and then dab off most of it. Oh, I can see using the rough side of a sponge. Okay, there. so holding your palette, putting it at a slight angle, go along the edges and then straight across. Oh, so that's how you get that scratchy look. And that's how I did the deer as well. And when you're doing an awkward shape, just always try and go as straight as you can. And I, I, when I'm talking about awkward shape, I'm talking about his antlers and things yeah. like that. But you can do everything to match exactly. Doesn't that make a difference, though? How effective is that? Best if you'd paint dry the one underneath, because you, then you're not going to blend the colours together. And the trick is to take off as much as you can. By doing it on a glass mat, it means you can pick the paint up again. So I go all the way along and then across. So that if I have got too much on, I'm not going right into the middle of my plank. And of course you could use a different colour paint if you want. You, you can. Want to go with a white so it looked like a whitewashed paint. Well, actually on the deer and deer. on the... Um, diorama what I did was I took another sponge did exactly the same thing but with the white as well but this time I don't go quite as far uh, oh yeah, I so like you, that. you get just really because if you think old for <laughs> you'll know this from having stripped back some old furniture there'll be layers and layers of different colors so by doing this, you're adding that. But if you want to go for a real driftwoody look, pick really random colours, bright greens and things, the sort of things that a beach hut would be painted, because that's the sort of thing that would get recycled into signs yeah. and things. I totally see what you mean there. In fact, they're beach hut colours, what you've used. Yeah. Okay, so that's my basic tree. I'm going to give them a quick blast because we're now going to ephemera them up. That's not even a word, I've just made that up. Yes, we've got your ephemera on. We've got three different choices, actually. I don't know if we can bring the details up and show you those, just as Ali's drying that off. Um, in fact, we can show you pictures, I believe, of all the different options. So you can see 11.97 is the price. Doesn't matter which option you go for here. Now, this one is traditional. Now, you get three sheets in each pack. Some of them might be the same, others you might find in the patch you get different styles of sheets in there. So nine sheets in total. That's traditional. Then we have character. Now, both myself and I think Ali's favourite is this one, the snow globe in there. You've not only got beautiful scenes within the snow globes, but you've got some blanks as well. And because these are see-through, these are transparent, you can put these over photographs and things and put your own images behind. So there you go. And then contemporary as well. So you've got your words in there, you've got the baubles, and you've got various different uh, Christmas decorations. But they're quite neutral in colour, so you can lay these over your own colours or add more to them if you wish. Just 11 97 And that, as I say, is getting you nine sheets. There's a £3 saving to 
today, 484280. Right, so I'm going to use um, the baubles from the Contemporary. And I'm going to just, because they're clear, I can see the colour through. They're so effective, aren't they? So I'll have him there. Very easy to use as well. Yeah, you can literally peel them on. If the paint is still slightly damp, what you'll find is that it'll appear not to stick. It will just sort of float up a little bit. Okay. Just let the paint dry and then it will go down. It will actually push down into place. And also, if you're doing one and you're a bit worried that you're not steady-handed, if the surface you're doing it onto is slightly damp, it means you've got a little bit of wiggle time with the adhesive. So you can, you can use that to your advantage. I was cutting the stalk, stalk, the string here, so it will look like one's hanging behind the other. Okay, and then we'll have this little one up here. Okay. Trim that. You've got these extra um, garlands on the side if you want to do some, you know, almost streamers. And then I'm just going to add a Merry Christmas. You've got lots of nice words of different fonts as well. All different fonts, but they're all either Merry Christmas or Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I quite like that one. You, okay. see, you don't even notice the edge, do you, really, when no. you burnish that down? That's it. And then all I would do is flick them over and do this afterwards because I'm the most impatient person waiting for the, the support to dry. And I try picking it up before when I should and everything, and it just gets, it gets messy. And I get cross. <laughs> there was a lot of shouting and possibly the odd rude word yesterday when I kept trying to pick oh, up. No. Well, I was, really? Yes, I was getting really cross because my glue wouldn't dry. Um, <laughs> and I was being far too impatient. So I actually got up and moved to a different table so I didn't have to touch it. Oh. So you just leave that to dry. And so um, give that about five, ten minutes and then that will be, you'll be able to flick that Perfect. over and your tree will be ready to oh, oh and just a reminder Alice glue is also on the website as well you get three bottles of that actually uh, we'll find you the details and we'll remind you that because it's a really really good glue to use and of course a great price as always there it is low 11.99 three of those I love the fact you've got those really fine nozzles on there as well 092278 if you want to go for the glue now a bit of a quick recap as uh, <laughs> Alice waited for a glue to dry uh, we'll, we'll, we'll cut her mic in case she's cursing and swearing. Because uh, you never know, do you? She's <laughs> you just never know. There we go. Let's have a look at the wreaths again. You've got the MDF wreaths and the embellishments. Three quarters of the stock has now gone. 199780 is the item number, just 12.99. Two of the large ones, diameter just over a foot wide as well, so huge. Then you've got two of the medium, two of the small, and all of those embellishments as well. Flowers, trees, doves, bells, uh, in different sizes as well. So a really lovely kit, this one, and this is going to be used all year round as well. You can decorate those wreaths however you wish. £12.99, as I say, the item number there, still on the screen for you, 199780. Love that one with the netting around it as well. And then let's have another reminder of this one because I adore this actually. This is so, so nice. So many ideas of how you could decorate this one up. This is our gingerbread village diorama. It doesn't have to be a gingerbread village at all. It can be something totally different. I mean, you could paint those really bright colours if you wanted to. If you wanted to go very sort of neutral with it, we could. You could keep the MDF in its raw state and maybe use some of the crystals that we've got on the show as well just to add some staining to them if you wanted to. So lots of options again lots of pieces to build together everything's cut all the slots and tabs are included and if you wanted to pack this away once you've built it up then of course just don't glue it all together just put everything in one position and then when you want to pack it away then you can just take it all apart again nine pounds and 99 pence one two one one seven eight then moving on to the winter deer so the same sort of idea we've got another diorama here I do think these go perfectly together I mean if you wanted to go for one of the villages 
and the forest or the wood either side. That really would make a statement, wouldn't it? But if you want to go for it individually, you can do as well. The Winter Deer Diorama, again, just £9.99. 330907 is the item number. That technique that Ali's just shown us, I can see, has been used there as well for painting this one up. But you can do that in whichever way you wish. Really nice. Now, it, this has proven to be the star of the show, the next item. It did sell out earlier on today, this morning, and it's busy again. Now, it's back on extended delivery. 2nd of November is dispatched from date, and half of the extended stock has already gone. 11 99 is going to get you three of the deer. You do get the large one. I'm going to ask sizes again. Do we know how tall he is <laughs> with his antlers? The trouble is, he's sized to fit in our 35 centimetre box. That's how he got to be that size. That's without his antlers. That's without position. his antlers and his Ooh. legs. <laughs> because he sits at an angle. I know what I can do. Can I just grab something? You've got is an A4 right? piece of paper. No, I've. <laughs> I've just demolished the set. Never mind. You see, ah, now then, he must be the full height of your box then. Because. This larger reef fits in the box as well. Is 30 centimetres, or just a fraction over 30 yeah. centimetres. So if I again, put that back, size to fit in the box. And then by the time you put his antlers on, in the whole of his, you know, built up, he's enormous. 30, it's got to be, be over, about 50 centimetres. It's got to be about 50 centimetres, hasn't it? Because I always look at it on screen when it's it's in the flat components. Even the even the baby ones the aren't. The baby ones aren't fat. Well, they're about a foot look tall, or maybe even a little bit more. They're about yeah, they're a little bit taller than the diameter of this. So they are a really good size, aren't they? I mean, we can see this in the studio, but it's hard when you're at home to sort of visualise the size of them. So really good sizes. Eleven ninety nine is the price. So you can decorate these again in so many different ways. £3 saving, 778-387. I would be quick on these because this is the extended stock and it's going very, very quickly as well. Already half the stock gone. Look at the little bellas, the nose there. You know, you have so much fun trimming these up. Ribbons, fabric, jumpers, you know, put faces on them, googly eyes. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, do you know, whatever colour scheme as well. In fact, I think I might be able to tell you the exact size of this now because look what I've just found. Right. Oh, um, centimetres, we said, didn't yeah. we? Centimetres. We said about 50. We, we're underestimating there, I'll tell you. Um, about 60 centimetres in height really? up to the top of his antler, yeah. From his nose wonder if this to is his be. tail is about 36 centimetres. Yeah, because he has to sit in the box just at an angle so his nose doesn't get bumped. Yes. He is a... Oh, no, I'm not going to say what I was just going to say. <laughs> Tall chap. <laughs> oh, something nearly slipped out my mouth then that wouldn't have sounded right at all. Uh, the little ones are 36 centimetres in height and from <laughs> nose to tail, 21 centimetres. There you go. <laughs> Very busy on those as well. 778387, that's the item number. Right, let's move. Let's move on before I say something else I shouldn't. Uh, right, the tree, the tree. <laughs> love that. Uh, love this as it is. Do you know the fact that you can break this one down and use it in so many different ways? I'm going to grab my lollipop again, which is not really a lollipop, of course. But you know, you can get two trees out of the one tree. You can separate all these components exactly how you want. Just to point out the other sample that we've got here as well, because I don't think we mentioned this when we went, did the first counter preview. The top layer that, as you see in its entirety there, has been taken from the top and spun around and used as the pot at the bottom of the tree. So as we just go down to the bottom, there you can see. Using some of the ephemera there as well, you can sort of personalise that. I'll put a, a nice sentiment on there. Uh, do you know, so many reasons, again, to decorate this up, isn't there? Whatever colours you want, whatever theme you want, you can have a lot of fun with it. Get everybody involved. Maybe everybody in the family could do different sections and then yeah. put it all together. And have it as, like, that's the family tree then, isn't it? That would be, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? That would be really get, nice. Don't look what everybody's doing. Everybody do their own thing and then put it all together and see what you end up with. Could be fun. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Three five one five zero seven. And then we've got the stencils. You're getting all four of these, not just one of them. It's not a choice. All four. I absolutely adore this set. We'll bring the details up. Three one eight four one five. You're saving four pounds today. 
less than ten pounds nine pounds and ninety six pence so less than two pounds and fifty pence each and they are beautiful as well really lovely stencils six by six is the size of them now more items we've got as well for you the uh, the me the mixed medium paste there for you this is really good the mixed media paste there it is bring details up for that one nine ninety nine you get in two hundred and twenty five milliliters three two five eight nine zero we've got gilding flakes as well oh Ali's gilding flakes are amazing We'll find you the details for those. Oh, I've been using gilding flakes over the last couple of days, mixing it into my clay. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, six six five five zero three. Two of those, a hundred milliliters each. The variegated red and the green. They're lovely, Ali. Aren't They're they, those? beautiful colours, and even within. You remember when we were looking at the crystallina and all those colours rippling through? You get that in the uh, variegated colours as well of the gilding flake. And if you're careful, you can pick out, especially with the polymer clay and this, pick out the specific colours that you want and work with just the flake that you want. Do you know the gilding flakes with polymer clay is amazing. It's gorgeous, isn't it's it? It's amazing. I do know because I've been practicing ready for my fever decor show. And we've had an email in, Ali. Oh. Uh, somebody called Janie has yeah. emailed in. Mm, I'm trying to mend the set. I think I better leave that alone <laughs> just for a minute. <laughs> Janie's emailed in and she said, Ali, are you feeling all right? Why? Because there's no Pastel black gesso. colours and no black gesso. Right. Should we can be I worried? confess? Can I confess that tree? <laughs> nearly got black gessoed at 10 o'clock last night. I nearly went over the whole lot with black gesso. To be fair, you been... did say to me this morning after yeah. the show, I think I'm going to have to get the black gesso I out. Think, I think that tree's going to get a makeover, <laughs> possibly this afternoon. Yeah, it was quite... But the pastel colours I like for Christmas, it, it is a bit different. And especially if you're, you, you know, wanting a, a jolly feel. Yeah. But it's got that frosty feel as well. So, yes. But, yeah, the tree. Watch this space, that may get, may get a makeover. <laughs> oh, you'll have to post that on my page, Ali. I, th I, th I think it needs, it. but it shows again, just because it's MDF, you can change your yeah. mind. There's no reason, and I've said this many times, you know, don't be afraid to, to go, right, okay, I'm not happy with that, let's try something else, and you can. Um, Black gesso is the way forward for me. <laughs> Every time. Oh, I can see you've got the crystalline effect. Yes. Oh, and just to show, I did it. I turned it over and there was no bad language. <laughs> so, yes, because that was now <laughs> nicely glued. So, um, that's a really nice little. And again, you could put little lights through there or, oh. you know, weave things, all sorts of different you things. You can hang little baubles from those holes. Don't yeah. You as well? Yeah, and because it's cut from 4 mil MDF, if you've got a crocodile, you can make extra holes if you yeah. need to. Um, obviously, if you, you need the big bite to go further in. But, yeah. Uh, I want to say the mixed medium paste that we've got on is also used for image transfer. So I am tempted to do um, one of these with photos on the planks. I think that it would be really, really nicely. Good. So what you that do is you... That would definitely be a family tree then, yeah. wouldn't it? So you paste um, the paste on, you press your laser printed image face down, l rub it in and then you peel the paper away. With a, with a damp cloth, leaving the image impregnated on the so MDF. So when you do that, the image would be the reverse of yes. how you look so at it. So don't this. have words. Don't do words. Just if you are doing words, because I think this would look really nice with merry and bright or something. If you're good at brush lettering, fantastic. You know, you can do it by hand. But if you're not, print it out, but just get your printer to flip it. Yeah. And then you can do it. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to make a little Christmas tree using some of the crystallina and the fusible film. So I've just sandwiching the two together. My iron is already ready to go. Okay. Yeah, trusty iron. Trusty dusty, but he does the job. <laughs> Probably less dusty than my real iron at home. Right, okay, so you can see how fabulous that is with the light. I love the effect of this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into strips and then I'm going to come along and I'm going to, it's probably hard to see because of the shine, but I'm going to fringe it, okay, and I'm going to go all the way along. You said you can die cut this as well, didn't you? You Alan? can, yeah. I find that the steel edge rule, uh, steel rule dies, you know, the thick ones, go through it a treat. The others, you might have to cut it a couple of times. Or if you're using the fibres in the middle, sandwich a bit of copy of paper so that it's cutting through that rather than stretching it. Ah. 
because that's yeah. the problem sometimes. Um, but of course, the other thing you can do is lay your die down and iron on top, and then you will get the impression of the die as well. Oh, of course. So, so can you that see? I've really fringed off. that. Okay. Then yeah. I'm going to run a line of glue down because I want my glue to grab quite quickly, um, but I can't heat it like I did earlier. Okay. So as if by magic, I've got one that I started off a few minutes ago and the glue... Has it gone a little bit more tacky now? It's possibly gone a bit too tacky, but we'll see. And I've just taken a bit of wire and I'm going to start... No, actually, that's quite... That's quite... Um, it is quite dry, the glue, but it's still grabbing because it's, it's squidgy in the middle. So I'm just going to start winding this round. And if ever you've looked at old Christmas trees, this is exactly how, you know the tinsel ones, that's how they're made. They have wire and there's the sort of tinsels wrapped. Oh, so kind of, do you know what it reminds me of? Come on. You remember the newspaper trees where you used to cut into it and then you pull the yes. middle off? Yes! Oh, I haven't made those for... It's very similar, but obviously much you've, posher you've, paper. You've made a little sprig, haven't you? Yeah. That's what you've done. That's um, really clever. If you've got a little cotton reel, you can put it in and you make a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Do you remember Aww. when you had the little the little bear one that just had one and that's what you've made? Oh, so when I was a little girl, we had a Christmas tree that looked just like that. Yeah, pretty much, I think. <laughs> But anyway, so, and you can you can take another length if you want to make it longer, but look how pretty that looks. Oh, that is so clever. So, I'm going to attach that to my card. So, I'm going to run some glue along, okay? And then, if I was at home, there'd be something like this going on, which is just <laughs> a hold. But obviously, then you can't see what I'm doing, so... At home, that's what would be going on. Okay, so that's going to hold. And now, Santa well, Reindeer... Glue, could your glue is, though. Yeah, it does grab it. Grab that so quickly. Santa Reindeer or Penguin? Ooh, Penguin. I thought you'd pulled Santa off then. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his Santa. not listening to me at all. <laughs> I'll tell you the story of my Paddington socks one day. It's a very sad story. <laughs> Don't don't say to a child, you choose which ones you want. And then say, but you can have Paddington to match your jumper. <sighs> right, so I'm just taking one of the garlands from the contemporary. If you haven't got the contemporary ones, you could just doodle a line in there. So that's my little bauble. I want a greeting. So we're just going to add a greeting, oh, a greeting there, and one oh, little Christmas so card. Sweet. And if you wanted to, you could put a second bauble there if you want. But I quite like the single one because then you can oh. eat them out across. Oh, that's such a cute little penguin as well. He's peering oh, out of his bauble. Oh, details on the screen for the fusible film. Or it was. We've got to bring you some more details up now. There we are, the ephemera. Don't forget, three different choices here. Three different sheets, well, three sheets in each pack, and you're getting three packs all together, so that's nine sheets. So that is our traditional. Then we have the character. That's where that cute little penguin's just come from. And then we have the contemporary. Oh, I've got to tell you as well, when it comes to the traditional, um, the stamps in there are beautiful as well. I don't think we can see it. Have you got them there, Ali? So we can see. They are so nice. It's hard to see on the screen sometimes. It is. Guessing, isn't it? Do you want them or shall I? You, if, you can show them under the, uh, the overhead. These are beautiful. Okay, so they're like little watercolour images inside a postage stamp. But oh. they're fabulous sort of traditional Victorian cards. But the stag, again, is beautiful. So it's not necessarily Christmas. That would be a really nice winter birthday. Gifts uh, a year round. Um, but these are, can I just do a sneaky little a little thing with them? Because I love these on my broken china. 
Oh, have you got any of your broken... Oh, you've got a piece there. <laughs> Every time I see a broken tile or a bit of ceramic now, I always think of you, you know, like... Actually, I'm going to go with a smaller piece there. So I'm just going to lay that down, rub it down. These make really nice... If you're doing a more mixed-media, slightly different stance on your Christmas cards, these are really nice as embellishments because then it just looks oh. like it's from an um, heirloom but I also did one of the baubles as well oh, on the piece because they look really they just make really nice unusual embellishments and toppers oh they're fab so part of the traditional set there if you're going for the ephemera of course uh, lots of different options for you so, it looks like on that one, Ali, then, you get three sheets the same in each of those packs, but some of them vary, don't they, depending on the options. Yeah, so that, those ones, are this one, the tags and the bunting are the same, but the three sheets of snow globes are very different. You've got, um, like, the cute characters in it, and these ones, all the sheets are the same. What I tend to do is the ones where I think you're going to want the same one more than once. Yeah. Personally speaking, I'll go, right, okay, we'll do three sheets yeah. the same with that, because I know... I really like the stag on that and the snowman, so I know I'm going to use the, use a lot of them. So by having three sheets the same, I know that you're not going to have that frustration of, oh, oh I don't want to use him because <laughs> I've only it's got one. It's very true. That does happen, doesn't it? Yeah, so you'll get plenty there for your money as well. Now, a little bit of a recap, actually. Oh, just a, a few ups, uh, stock updates, actually. 80% of the wreaths have now gone. 12 99 remember, you're really getting everything you see on the screen there. Six wreaths, remember... A 30 centimetre diameter, in fact it's a fraction over that on the largest one, then you've got the medium and the small, two of each and all those embellishments as well. The deers which sold out this morning, back on extended, 80% of the stock gone of the extended stock as well. There we are, just 11.99, that's all they are. And we did measure, did I say 60 centimetres, the height of the larger one? Yes. 36. With his antlers on there, yeah, 36 in length, enormous, and even the little ones, 36 centimetres in height as well. 11.99 for all three, 778.387. Ali, we've still got some time for another demo. Can we see some more? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of the gingerbread houses. I'm going to do paint it in um, the cherry oh, ink nice. crystal because this is a really this is Christmas colour. So I'm just going to pick up some water. Now these are the crystals, aren't they? The ink crystals, the wood stain. Now you get three different wood effects in here. You've got the pine, the cherry and the chestnut. That is such a rich, beautiful colour. And it goes even more ready as it dries. You can see it spreading around on my mat there. Oh, it's okay. so easy to apply as well. Now, you showed this morning, Ali, you've, you've made some up in a spritzer bottle, so you spritz through your stencils with this as well. It's not just for your MDF, it's for all sorts of things. It's surfaces. all sorts of things. Um, if you want to ink up the edge of a piece of um, paper or anything, just put a little bit on your mat, pick it up with a sponge. Obviously, it is quite watery, so if you are doing that, what I tend to do is leave my sponge... If I'm mopping up, I'll mop it up onto a sponge and leave it there for sort of half an hour and then it will still be perfect for going around the edge. But you can paint it straight onto paper um, and then you've got beautiful age colours paper as well. Oh, but okay. look at that colour. I'm going to give it a so little... Rich. I mean, even... I don't know if you can see on the mat there how the colours... It's a mix of colours, and that's what gives it this nice... It's not just a red ink there. It's got tones of brown, so that's what gives it that woody, woody look. So I would actually take a bit of... Uh, what have I got? Must have... I, I never have not got book page here. So just so I'm not wasting that, let's just mop that up. Oh, lovely. Because then that will give me something that will dry. Let's just, you know, clean up my brush... Leave that to dry, and then I'll have a beautiful stained piece of paper, which we can... If and you've still got spare. You exactly. Could have done a few pages with um, and, ti and if time's allowing, we can use that to make a quick card as well. I'm just going to give this a little blast. Uh, I've purposefully not painted the roof, because I want to be able to work on that with the texture paste in a minute, the mixed medium paste. Ah, is that so the colour won't come through into the texture paste? Yes, yeah. and also, because this is going to be wet for a, for a minute... I don't want to be smearing it around. And if you want to 
take apart what you've built there. You don't go over the, the don't go over those. If you do find you accidentally, just take a take a bit of sandpaper and just sand it a little bit. Okay. But yeah, just avoid those. Right. So what we're going to do now is a faux um, snow effect. Now this mixed medium paste is magic. Right. You can use it for so many different things. Image transfer. Yeah. You can use it. Um, as a as a glaze because it dries with a nice shine it works as a dimensional resist yeah. you put it through a stencil let it dry and then um, when you go over it whatever's underneath will be protected but if you apply ink while the paste is still wet especially micro ink you get a different effect Ooh. but you could also mix things into it so I could if I wanted to if I wanted this to be a glazed look I could mix a bit of my ink crystals in yeah. and then when I paint that on it would dry with a shine okay. which is nice you can mix glitter into it you can mix mica into it and it will make a texture paste but I wanted to do a snow effect and I was thinking you know glitter's not the best thing to be using what have I got that would work as well and when I was teaching, we used to use salt a lot. So, I tried mixing salt. And that's something we're likely to have in our cupboards all the in. time, isn't it, really? So, it doesn't look much to begin with, and you want to get a nice... The salt will dry it out a little bit, so you want to get it... My delicate measuring. You want to get it to sort of... So it has a bit of, if it was baking, soft peak consistency. And then when it dries, you get the white of the salt coming through, so it looks like snow, but also the salt will glisten, just like real frost. Because oh, wow. sometimes when you use glitter, it's actually too garish. You yeah. know, if you're trying to do a realistic snow scene, glitter's sometimes too much but having just that glisten of the salt and because the paste will dry clear all you get is that beautiful salt but it's captured completely goes rock hard and has a fabulous glisten and you can see how I've got it quite runny yeah so if you have it so it's running over the edges a little bit you'll get an isocolor effect oh that would look effective so you can do that. It's a bit yeah, easier I'm, for you at home I'm doing that. I'm little houses as well. I'm thinking you could put little curtains behind the window. Oh, you could go to town. I was thinking when you were saying earlier, imagine this on a bookshelf, books either side of it, and you have little characters, you know, and it's almost like a story, story row. And, you, you know, you can make up stories about the little characters that live in the house and things like that. So we'd leave that to dry, and then that will start to, to glisten. I mean, you can see a little bit of the shine but it will it will really be it's a subtle glitter but it will catch the light really nicely because of the crystals in the salt an experiment Aww. with different salt as well and that sounds a silly thing to say would you, <coughs> would you work with rock salt then so would you yes you'd get a same? more granular again depending i mean i'm, I'm in the supermarket again oh no that rock salt's too coarse what are you baking nothing i'm just crafting you know i um I look at all the different grains. You can also get different colours of salt as well now, which is fabulous. Yes, you can, you can then, salt, can't you? Yeah, you can embed it. If you want to make it a little bit more frosty, add some mica in as well as the salt. Mix things about, and the mixed medium paste will hold it all together for you so that you can, you can mix and match and make your own, own pastes, which is quite fun. Amazing. So. You know, oh, so many hints and tips from Ali. That's what we always get, isn't it? Using things in your cupboards at home as well. That's what we love. So you're just drying off that bit of paper there. Yeah, I just thought, well, 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 you know, I was just going to see what I could do with this because it's going to match there. I could, if I wanted to, actually, I, you know how we did the, the branch? Yeah. If you do it really, really tiny, you can make miniature reeds to go on the doors. Oh. But you have to go really tiny. But that's a nice one for using up scrap paper. Um, just do exactly the same. Just cut your, your fronds thinner and just wrap it around. But I just was going to see what, um, 
what ephemera I've got. I was hoping I've got the bell somewhere. Oh, we've got an update, Alec. The Have reindeers we? are now limited stock. This is extended delivery. They sold out earlier. Please be quick. This is the second and final hour for Ali today. I don't know if we'll see these prices again either. Three pounds saving, just eleven ninety nine for all three, the large and the two small. So many ways you can decorate these. I still love the idea of hugging candy canes or chocolate baubles or something from the antlers or you know, <laughs> various different body parts, I was going to say. And now I've said it. 778-387 is the item number if you want to go for the reindeer. These have been so, so busy. So busy. I'm going to get into trouble after this hour. Oh, dear. <laughs> I, d I don't think you're... Comp I think you might be, um, you know, <laughs> being influenced by... <sighs> You, you can Boys. tell, can you? I know who's talking in your ear, so... <laughs> right, this is just one of these... I'm not... I'm, I'm not winging it. That's, that's... Oh, yeah, I'm winging it. I just had an <laughs> idea in my head um, of using up this paper. And this is sometimes when... You know the problem with my tree at the end? You know I said I should have painted it black. It's, it's not got black just on the... Oh, I thought that was the problem. No. No. What it was, was I had an idea of how I wanted it to look in my head. Okay, yeah. And then you always end up disappointing yourself because it never comes out as you, you want. You shouldn't be disappointed. It looks amazing. But when I just go, right, I wonder what will happen if I do... Then I'm in my... I know what you mean. It evolves. Yeah. So I'm just going... I think I'm going to go with this bell here. Oh, we've got 30 seconds left. Oh, loads believe? of time. Loads of time. Less. Isn't that affected though? The fact that you can see straight through and see all the print underneath, the colour. And this is why through. we put this one in the contemporary because it's not really contemporary designs, but the oh. idea is contemporary. So that you've got all your ink colours coming behind. You have to have your greetings because oh, they're so handy. And oh. Do check out everything. Just as Ali's finishing this off, we are being counted out of the show. Ali, I've had two lovely hours with you Thank today. Thank you very much. Details for the ephemera there. Do keep checking out on the website as well. Was that amazing? Lovely stuff from Ali. We'll see you very, very soon. Oh, coming up next, it could be trouble again. We've got stamp addicts for you next. We've got awkward doodles in bloom. One day special to follow that. And then we'll be back later with Bobbin Patch. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family run company from the Midlands and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. We sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda 
lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. And we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and uh, looking forward to seeing you on her channel. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. And how are you? It's Saturday. It's three o'clock and it can only mean one thing. We have got newness and we're in for a giggle. Oh, yes. <laughs> newness. Yes, newness is a word. Newness. Yeah. New. No, newness. <laughs> yeah, newness. Newness. <laughs> I thought you renamed us. <laughs> No, I've not renamed you. You're not like you're not like the Supremes. I'm not called you. So newness, as in newness in the stamps, and you. then ah, oh, this is going to see never work. Well, here they are, seven <laughs> dabby curia. How are you, girls? Good, thank, thank you. you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Now we do have to stress uh, due to the circumstances that we're in. Um, they've not been drinking. <laughs> and, uh, no, they are. In, they're, t they're together in a bubble. Okay, they're together in their own bubble. As you are, genuine sisters. We are. We yes. are. Yes. Not twins. Not twins. No. No. Some well. people think we're twins. Well, I would have said you were twins. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's that conversation. <laughs> now, uh, we've got many a demo coming up as well. I love it when these girls are here because I'm on my best behaviour because they tell me when I'm wrong. So, uh, we have got Nunes on the show as well. Uh, and, uh, we've got some cracking little demos. We're going to try and fit in four demos this hour. We're going to try and cram them in from the arranging stamps. Now, ladies, I don't know who wants to tell me this. I don't know who wants to be chief speaker. Uh, but where did the inspiration for the animals, sort of like animal portraits, come from? Well, yeah, they're kind of animal pairs. They're all designed by Terry Sherman, who's our artist, lives in Scotland and has lots of nature and she draws lots of real kind of drawings as opposed to the cartoon drawings that we get from Sherry. Okay. So we've got the, the puffins, the otters, the kingfishers, and foxes. the foxes. <laughs> That's it, foxy mama. <laughs> we have, we've got, we've got loads and we've got a bit of... We've got a bit of Christmas on the show, and we've also got, um, and it sold out last time, it sold out twice last time it was on air, the mini 12 Days of Christmas. 
Okay, so if you want that, shop ahead of me on that. Um, right then, ladies, we'll let you set up for a first demonstration. Uh, while they do that, let's look at the otters that we've got the details on the screen for now. These are your otter snuggles. Oh, uh, little cling-mounted rubber stamps. Uh, nearly 20% of the stock has already gone here. Uh, let me show you the size of the stamps that you're getting as well. They are good size stamps is what you are getting. They are beautiful. They really, really are. £10.99. Uh, they're all cling as well, which means, though, you can do some beautiful, beautiful designs. Look how beautiful is that? That is stunning. It really is. And once you've got a good stamp, you can really go to town. Um, Oh my word, look how, the, it's the detail that she's got on them is yes. amazing. Yeah, it makes them really easy to colour because it's all there for you. And you. But you'll notice we've snuck in lots of the clear words as well. We've got those, we've got those on the show as well. But look how different that one is. So it's a different design team member and they look so different to the others, don't they? Well, they do, they don't, look, they don't sort of look like otters no. there, to be honest. I can't, I can't quite work out what they look like. A longer kind of animal. <laughs> There were so many to choose from. A weasel or a ferret or a, yes. There, yes, there are a few. we were there. We were there. <laughs> uh, shrink plastic. Sh oh, I love them in shrink. Look at these in shrink. These are beautiful. Then uh, we've got things like these. These are so, so Now, obviously, I won't show you every sample for every um, stamp that we've got because I'd be here all day because uh, there are so many. And they are absolutely beautiful. Ten pen, ten ninety nine is what you're looking at. Two five eight two nine three is your item number. Twenty percent of the stock already gone. Getting quick. These have been selling before the hour. Okay. These have been going there. I think they launched last night. I think they were actually on our website. Um, so we've been ridiculously busy. Kingfisher is up next. Uh, once again, it's the realness about this is beautiful, and it's also going to be used masculine or feminine there's no yeah it's like gender neutral yes. as it were yeah. if you know where i'm going with that because these could be used for those father's cards that you don't know what to put on the front say if using that same old golfer yeah. or that old four cortina with mm -hmm. the car at the back or the lonesome cricket player those <laughs> ones <laughs> you know the ones i mean Alex. Uh, the head but this one could also be made quite female if you wanted it to as well also because there's always a pair on all of these stamps <gasps> so couples for yes. anniversaries and weddings or Congratulations on your twins, or <laughs> all kinds of different. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that is true. I never even thought that. But if you wanted to as well, you could quite easily fussy cut them out and get take out the top one if you wanted to, and just have this lonesome kingfisher on the mounting scene if you yes. extended the scene out. Uh, these could. are stunning, as I said. And obviously, you don't have to stick to the original kingfisher colours. That shrink plastic as well. That is beautiful. Uh, things like these, though. Look at that. It is the detail that you've got in there. It is like, I want to show one more, because that one <laughs> is, look at this. So that'll be your alcohol pens, where you can do oh. all the blending and the shading. That is stunning. Uh, then, <laughs> oh. So you create your background with a nice metallic sheen, and they just stamp in black. So you nice can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. 10.99 once again. 451373 is your item number. Very busy for the kingfishers. Uh, puffins are up next. Oh, look at him. Look at the little puffins. Uh, so you've sort of got the two puffins there. Ten pounds. Sort of. Well, you have got uh, the two puffins there. Once again, I was thinking snippability. You could snip out that back puffin if you wanted to and just yes. have the one sitting down. Yes, and she looks like she's nesting, doesn't she? Well, she does. She yes, could be. I so it could be a new home card. <gasps> see? So oh, many possibilities. You're a clever sausage. <laughs> I can see why you're here. Really can. Uh, these are. So it could be a nesting card, but you could do like a whole colony of puffins and you can yes. have them all sitting on like a little cliff edge. That's if it, you, you mask them these to. ones with our eclipse masking tape and then create a whole flock of puffins. I don't Is know. Is it a flock what? of puffins? I have no I, idea. I made up colony. I, I, I just went with it. It sounded quite David Attenborough. <laughs> so I rolled with it. Oh, like this one. Yes. That's what I was thinking of. That's it. I'll, Oh, stay safe. Look at that. At uh, £10, they are in their bubble of six. I like what they've done here with this card. They've been quite clever. Quite clever. Uh, £10 and 99 pence is what you're looking at. Uh, let me show you on shrink. We're loving shrink. Look at this. So, uh, well, the kingfishers and the puffins work together as well. And by the looks of it, the kingfishers have been flipped. So you can flip them 
if you wanted to. Because what colour shrink around. you shrink on? You do it on the clear. You can flip it. You can flip it. Flip it. Flip reverse it. Uh, Ten pounds and ninety nine pence. Eight three zero nine seven eight is your item number for that as well. Right then, up next. <clears throat> Oh, look at this. This would make a beautiful um, Father's Day card, Mother's Day card. Yeah. Uh, send to a nan or a granddad, those sorts of cards, just to say thinking of you or something from the grandkids uh, that you want to say in as well. Ten ninety nine is what we're looking at for this. Uh, but it is super, super cute. It is just that... I don't know, I think it's the connection between the two of them. Yeah, the love that you can see. <laughs> it is. Oh, look. And, and like the others, all the detail is there for you, so you know where to put your shading. And I think that's the bonus of getting these. The hard work has been really done for you. Look at that. Um, because you could just do them all, all uh, one, two, there's four of them. So you could do all four of them in black and white if you wanted to, like yes. a little pop art, one in each corner of your yeah. page. These in little frames, you know what I'm like for a box frame, I love a little box frame. Uh, you could pop them in, they would be stunning, because then you could sort of go quite like this. This is beautiful, because that bottom one looks like quite feline-esque. Yes. Quite cat-esque, yeah. if you little, wanted to. Little baby, yeah. Uh, so you could go with a little cat if you wanted to as well. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence for all four of us. What that be? 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 pounds ish minus four p um, is what you're looking at. So forty-three pounds and ninety-four pence. Am I right? <coughs> yes, I am. Oh, move over, Carol. Uh, for all of these, and you would get all four stamps. And then you may want to add in the twelve days of Christmas. Now we've got two types. Of, I've got the minis, and I've also got the large as well. When I talk about large, uh, this is the size we're talking about now. So uh, what you've got is you've got the twelve days. You've also got it in written form as well. So if you just wanted to do it in written form, maybe that's going to be the centerpiece. So that's what they all look like that you get there. I just wanted to show you the size of them. Um, these are beautiful stamps, the way they've been done. Because you normally you would get individuals. But with this, you can create them as a set of six. But couldn't you cut into them, I'm guessing? So yes. you can make them smaller that, if you wanted to? That's what we do. We, we separate them all. Whereas the mini ones... We keep them all together because they're that small and we use it all as one, as you'll see from the mini samples. But this one, they're too big. We use them all separately. Oh, well done. <laughs> hey, Our double this. waterfall card. This is beautiful. But once again, using them on their own. This is cute. On, that's, I think the rings is on the twinchy. Is, is that, that? Is that mini or is that shrink? No, no, that's shrink. <gasps> that's shrunk. That's the big one on <gasps> shrink, which shrinks smaller than the mini. That shrink. Oh <laughs> my words. Well, hose me down and call me Brenda. Look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful. So that's the size they are, because that's done on, well, that's just on MDF. Uh, but then shrunk down again, the 12 days of Christmas. These would be nice in like lanterns and popping light through them and things. Yes. Yeah, because you've got lots of detail around the edges, but then they all have a white area. Oh, I love these. It's Imagine doing these as little note-look cards. Oh, that's it, because we've done a lot of that knock. I mean, I love the three hens, the three French hens, because it's, you know, it's your friends. It's your group of friends that it could be, it could be your hen party. It could be so many Oh, yeah, I never things. thought of that. And same with the rings as well. <laughs> Necessarily, the five gold rings doesn't have to be for no. Christmas. That could be a wedding card. It could be a wedding card. It, it could be, be a proposal. It could be, yeah, so many things. And then you've got two turtle <laughs> doves. They could be loved ones. Yeah. So that could be for an anniversary. We've got the frames that are, they're on the website as well. Oh, so we've all the got the frames. Frame. So if you want the right frames, they're there as well. So you've got anniversaries and then when you get divorced, a partridge <laughs> on your own. Uh, in a pear tree. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. £29.99. £29. You get a lot of stamp for your money with it because remember you're getting the 12 days of Christmas and you get the sentiments in there as well. If you like it in this form, I've also got it in the mini form. Which I can show you on the website. Uh, on the website for nine ninety nine. Now this sold out twice last time it was here. It sold out. Then we bought it back on extended extended delivery, and it sold out again. Now we've bought it back again for nine ninety nine. Is what you're looking at. One seven five nine six zero is your item number. What you're looking. This is for the mini. 12 days of Christmas. Um, we don't get. Do we get the sentiment in this? Do we get the 12 days? Is it just the stamp? It's, it's the images on the box. 
them it says the 12 days of Christmas, but you don't get the one for each image, no. It's good to know those, as long as we know, so I don't want you to get to mix up. So this is just for the stamps and they're in mini form, okay? These are the mini 12 days of Christmas, uh, clean rubber stamps, nine pounds and 99 pence. Right then. <laughs> Um, your item number for that, so it's 175960 is your item number, is what we're talking about. Right then, we're talking about puffins, and let's go to... Well, we weren't, we were talking about 12 Days of Christmas, but that was my seamless link. <laughs> uh, we are now going to talk about puffins, and uh, to create a beautiful puffin, uh, let's go for our first demonstration. <laughs> Completely seamless, yes. Okay, so I've got my puffins, and I've got my sanded shrink plastic. I've okay. Sanded side down. So I'm stamping on the shiny side because I want to colour on the sanded side. And I'm using my Stays On Pigment ink pad because you need an ink that's going to dry on the shrink. You can't use a water-based ink. You could use an archival, but it takes a while to dry or it doesn't dry until you've shrunk it. Uh, the details so. on the screen are for the shrink plastic. And this is the mix pack, so you get four of the sanded. Two of the clear and two of the white for ten ninety nine is what you're looking at. They're also on the website individually. Okay. So fabulous. you can buy all sanded or all clear or all white. And so gold, you know, is, gold and silver as well. Oh, gold and silver oh, yeah. shrink. If yes. you know what you like, you can go for a big pack. <laughs> if you want a little mix pack, the details are on the screen, ten ninety nine. So let's see. Yes. Lovely. Okay. So I'm gonna move this aside and what I forgot was a piece of white paper. So I use a bit of white tissue because when you turn it over, you want to be able to see your image. Now I'm colouring with some chalk pencils, but you could use your alcohol pens. Now if you're using alcohol pens, you have to do it on the opposite side to the ink. stamp, yeah, the ink, because it's a solvent-based ink, you can't use it with the alcohol pens. Uh, so if you were doing it on the white, you I would suppose like it looks like you're not throwing much colour down there, but I suppose when it shrinks, that's going to be more intense. It definitely is, yes. And you've got to think puffins. I mean, I chose to do the puffins today because there's not a lot of colouring. <laughs> 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 so it's quite speedy because they only have a couple of colours. But yes, as it intensifies, so it goes down to approximately a third of its original size, but then all the colours <coughs> will intensify as well. So let's... So really Puffin, his main colour is in his beak, or her beak. And it's going to go with a bit of red and a bit of orange. And blend that. Some orange. Details of the Puffins are currently on screen at the moment. £10, 99 pence, 830978 is your item number. See, this is why I like the, the sanded, because the the chalk sticks to it. It adheres to the... Oh, okay. You can, if you have clear and you want to use the pencils, you could sand it with a little sanding block, those kind of square nail blocks that you get. But you need to sand it in at least four different directions so that you don't have lines. So, black. But you showed... You were talking about the mini 12 days of Christmas just now. Vicky yep. made the double waterfall card with the big 12 days, and then she also made it with the mini 12 days of Christmas as well. Well, I've got that. I'll sh I will show you that. <laughs> so you can show that afterwards. I've got but, that. Yeah. But you can't do all 12 days together in, one in the waterfall. waterfall. No. I feel like this has been tried. It was attempted. Oh. <laughs> uh, what's the angel policy? Can we make and sell? Yes. yes. Yep, as long as everything is hand stamped. No mechanical reproductions. That's fine. So I'm just blending in my chalks just to soften, get rid of the lines. Now I'm not cutting this out. I'm leaving it as a square. Otherwise, it, you can see some of them have been cut out. But I just wanted to keep this one more of a square. Now I've gone over the edges, so I'm going to use, just rub it off. Okay, I think we're done. So I'm going to turn it back over to the smooth side and then take my anti-static bag, because now I've done all that work, I don't want to ruin it. 
it's there yes it's there heat gun in one hand scissors in your dominant hand okay just in case i need it <laughs> is that in case it goes in case it gets stuck yes so fingers crossed so what's the anti-static bag for that helps to stop it sticking to itself oh, okay putting the powder on and it just it's then not such a smooth surface it's less likely stick it's still possible but less likely now you can put this in the oven that is the um, less traumatic way to do it <laughs> I know watching it now then all of a sudden it's just gonna go it's one of them that's I know I'm being I'm being quite careful and doing it from quite a distance well, maybe it's so, plus it's the first time my heat gun's been on today hasn't warmed up yet yeah, here, here we, we go, go. Look, here we go what we were waiting for we knew it was gonna happen I love this bit it looks like it's all never gonna work you think it's really ruined the first time I saw it I was like where are we I was waiting for that and it looks like it's ruined but then it all smooths itself out and if you want to go for the puffins, it's ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. Eight three zero nine seven eight is your item number. They go really slowly today. Saturday, isn't it? Saturday afternoon. <laughs> I think everyone does. Are they on holiday? So you know it's finished when it stops moving, but usually at some point you want to flip it over because it will help flatten it out. So you can see on the back, you, where I coloured, you can only see the colour, not really the design. Oh, yeah. Is that because you, oh, you, you stamped on the front, didn't you, and then you yes. coloured through? Yeah, and because as it shrinks, it gets a lot thicker. So if you're doing it on the, the pure clear one, it often looks like broken glass. Because oh. it's quite thick. Right, so I'm going to flip it back. And I want it nice and flat. So I've got a good old acrylic block. And I'm going to gently place it on top that and hold amazing. it there for a second. These are nice little key rings. You punch it first before you shrink. Oh, OK. Uh, you can't punch it once it's shrunk. It will just Too snap. Thick. Yes. Too thick and brittle. So I just need to wipe off Oh, look the at that. So I have pre-stamped a crease card with some of the the words, the best wishes. Yeah, I'll give you the details of those shortly as well. Don't, do not fear. And I would highly recommend the Joy Micro Dots. Okay. Which should be on your website. These are strong enough to hold the plastic. Oh. So you just pop that on there, put some sticky on the back, and pop it in place. There we go. That's all done. Oh, look at that. Uh, let me give you the details for the puffin that we've got here as well. Those are the details for the, uh, the sentiments that we've gone. 20% uh, of the puffin stock now has already gone. £10 and 99 pence is what you're looking at. 830978 is your item number. I'm going to show you a few samples because we are going to get back uh, to demonstration. Uh, simple thinking of you cards and birthday cards. Look how elegant this card is. How elegant is that? That is a beautiful, beautiful card, and you can be recreating these cards as well uh, for £10.99. Uh, something else, though, you're shopping head of uh, is the frames that we've already got on the show as well. You can find these on the website, uh, but I'll give you the details now for them, shall I? 066723 is your item number. These are your two frames. You get the beautiful ornate frame, and you also get the postage um, frame as well for £15.98. 066723 is your item number. Now we've got sentiments on the show. Uh, we've got two lots of sentiments. These are your birthday sentiments. You're getting 14 stamps in total is what you're getting for £10.99. 614447 is your item number. Then we've also got greetings. You're shopping ahead of me uh, for the greetings. Uh, £10.99, 061418 is your item number for your greetings as well. And these are the sentiments you'll see on most of the samples that I have shown you throughout the hour. Right then, let's get back to another demonstration. This time, uh, we're talking Christmas. We are, yes, 12 days of Christmas. But we're just going to do the five gold rings. Now, twinches. It's one of our favourite things, the two-inch squares. They come in a sheet and they've got a border around the outside of the sheet. 
And once I'd used up the sheet, I cut the corner and kept it. And I put it inside my hingy thing. Platform? Sampling platform. Yeah, that one. And then you pop your square inside and just push your magnets up to the edges and that will hold it in place. You don't want it too close to the edge because then you won't be able to stamp on it. Oh. So if you want these little blocks though, you get 96 squares in total is what you're getting for 11 It's a good little amount. And you'll notice Vicky numbered the back of the stamp so we know which one it is. <laughs> She's good. So I'm using the Stays on Pigment again because I'm going to colour this and then cover it. So would you suggest cutting your stamps down? Yes. Okay. Trimming um, as close as possible so you so don't have excess rubber and also for placement. Oh, yeah, true. If you cut as close to the design as you can, I then just like the border you've given us, though. You, 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 you get a nice little border around the, the six. Well, that helps with the manufacturing process. Oh, okay. <laughs> it makes it easier. That's nice. <laughs> That's why it's there. So. But it, they would, you can make some very big cards with those. Well, you could. That's what I was thinking. Is because you've got a pre-made border yeah. around the stamp already. So if you went straight in... I do like the figures on them, though. The figures are beautiful. Okay. It's like traditional Christmas, it reminds me of. Yeah. Come on. Off oh, we come. Right. Pop that out of the way. And just give this a quick heat before I colour. So the Twinchy is a white paper type surface so you can colour on it and paint on it. 20% of the stock of your 12 days of Christmas has already gone. £29.99.041320 is your item number. Do you have the Wink of Stella pens on the website? I thought you were asking me personally. Then. Yeah. Uh, someone is cleverly looking at the moment. We think we do, but we'll double check for you. See, the gold is really good 